Hey guys, Colliding Diamonds here, and we're going to be doing a video on what to do with daylight sensors. I feel like daylight sensors are just that one or a few, one of the few things in this game that just people don't um, know what to do with. They know it's there, they just really don't use it. And um, so I'm making this video for you guys so you guys can have a, a collection of things to do with daylight sensors. So you can know, you can just have a bunch of things to do with them. So, um, the first thing is lighting of a house. So, yes. It's important to light your house, but glowstone, it's just too much. Light at day, night, it never stops. But if it's dark in the day and bright in the night, it's just the way to go. Now, of course, you can always go about this by taking a lever, placing it here, placing it there, and then just turning it on at night. But that's just ugly, and it takes up time. So I've, I discovered a way to use a daylight sensor to make it so that lights only turn on at night. So uh, how you do this is you get... Uh, a daylight sensor. This is how you craft them. Glass, nether quartz, which you can find in the nether, and then some slabs. And you place it up in your roof. Now, uh, here's the, that's what the daylight sensor looks like. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what happens. So to turn on lights, you connect a redstone torch to some dust, and that's how you're going to turn on lights. But Daylight sensors, what they do is they're like solar panels. Oh, whoops. They're like solar panels, and they, whenever the sun is on them, they give off a redstone signal. So they're giving off a redstone signal, shutting off this torch, so these lights don't turn on. But at night, they do, because the sun's not going to the daylight sensor. So it's not going to deactivate this torch, and this torch is going to work and turn on these lights. So, um, that's how you do ceilings, I mean, um, sorry, lights. And I think it's a great way to do it. It looks great. In the day you can have your normal look, and at night you can have lights turn on. And so this is another example. Oh wait, I never, sorry, I never showed you the real, how, you know, what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. night goes on, the lights go up, and it looks great. So, um, this is another example of what you can do. Walkways. You can add lights to them, because these are what, these are probably what usual walkways look like. And, um, at night they glow, at morning they don't, which is great, because in the morning you don't want your redstone lamps on. You can do this by, um, placing daylight sensors, maybe covering with carpets so you don't see them. And just, and I'll turn it on. I have one over here for that one. And you can also use repeaters and only use one daylight sensor. But I just felt like using three. So uh, that's what it looks like. And then, and also another cool feature you could do is you can put a daylight sensor over a door. And during the day, it'll always be open, easy to enter. But at night, it'll close so the monsters don't creep inside your house. So I'm going to set, set it to sunset, and you're going to see this light turn on, because the sun's going down, as soon as the darkness comes up, this light's going to turn on, it's going to be sensed by that sensor, and it's going to be sensed here, and then there, once I know it's here, I'll know to go inside my house, and the darkness will reach this, I mean the light will stop reaching this, and it will close. Because right now it's giving a signal to the door to open. Once the signal isn't there, it will just close and I'll be protect protected from the monster. See, I'm already two ways there. Then this one's going to turn on. Now I know to go inside into my fortress. And then this one will close eventually. The sun will stop reaching it. It'll be down 
and then the door will close protect me from the monsters this wait and, and yep and then it closed so now you have a nice fort bunker fortress to protect you from the monsters and it's nice I mean you just you can protect yourself so just a refresher Here's an example of how the inverse way to light up a redstone lamp works if you do not get it over there. Redstone torch lights up a redstone lamp. When it's daytime, this activates the redstone torch and turns it off. You just place down a daylight sensor, some dust, a block, a torch, some more dust, and then the redstone lamp. So when the light when the daylight comes on this will shoot out a signal and turn off this torch so they won't be able to turn the lamp like so and this is getting a signal and giving it to the piston telling it to go up which is just used for things you want to happen in the day if you wanted a piston to go up in the day and push something only at daytime that's how it would work so um then Another example of what you could do is mines. If you're in the dark or in the light, you don't know if you bring down a watch. If you forget your watch, you can always, instead of just trying to remember to bring a watch, you can dig a hole in your like mine bunker area down there and place a daylight sensor and a redstone lamp. And when it's on, it'll tell you. I just get on here. When it's on, it'll tell you, and it'll be like. Oh, it's daytime. I can go up and not be attacked by the monsters. So, uh, that's a great example of another thing you could do with daylight sensors. Now, there's a few more, like clocks and other stuff, but I don't think those are very useful. Uh, so, I think these are the best things you could do with them, and I hope this helps you and gives you some ideas. So, please like and subscribe to my channel and watch some of my other videos which are really good and get ready for me you'll see me soon and um, this is a video without without um, my other co-creator he's we're gonna be at the beach all week so you're gonna see him a lot this week get prepared thanks guys bye